When an emergency happens, you want to know you have the care you need close to home. That's why U of L Health has seven emergency rooms throughout Jefferson, Bullitt, and Shelby counties. Dory Shelburne, the Chief Nursing Officer and Vice President of Operations for U of L Health Ambulatory Services, is joining us today. Good to see you, Dory. Now, the fact that U of L Health has more emergency rooms than any other healthcare organization in the region really highlights U of L Health's commitment to the community. Can you tell me about the role the ERs play in really working with each other to make sure that all of the patients get the care that they need? Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, as you stated, we have more ERs in the region um, than any other organization, and, and that truly gives us the benefit uh, of having community ERs in almost every location throughout Louisville and the surrounding areas. Um, if you live in Louisville or those surrounding areas, chances are you're about 10 minutes away from one of our EDs. Um, and, you know, also it gives us, as being a system, it really gives us the opportunity to give community care in your community at that very high level academic um, type of care from our bigger facilities. Um, you know, we are lucky in having um, board certified and, or, or board eligible physicians that are very committed to the care in our EDs. Um, our, our clinical staff, our RNs and such are, are um, highly um, educated and skilled to be able to care for any type of emergency that you may have at any of our locations. It could be anything from a sprained ankle to, um, you know, a stroke or a heart attack. Um, and we work very closely with all of our facilities internally. You know, some of the things that um, we work on is, uh, or one of the benefits maybe that we have. And, you know, um, the community talks about, you know, mental health and, and you know, the challenges that the community has um, with the COVID scare, with the isolation, with all the other things that are happening in our community. Um, and Peace Hospital, which is a part of U of L Health, actually provides services 24 seven in all of our EDs. Um, so if we have, a patient that is in need of mental care, um, Peace Hospital provides a clinician to be able to do a mental health assessment. Um, and we work very closely with them to um, identify what uh, needs that patient may need, whether it be an admission or outpatient treatment. Um, and we do those types of things throughout our whole um, entire system. And we partner with U of L uh, downtown, Jewish Hospital, St. Mary and Elizabeth, um, really to train and be able to care for our patients at the highest level. Now, Dory, a moment ago, you mentioned COVID. So how has COVID-19 impacted the emergency rooms and really what steps are in place to keep patients and staff safe? Yeah, so the safety of our patients and our staff is number one priority. Um, and, you know, we follow all of the CDC recommendations. Um, we have been uh, very blessed that we have had access to um, PPE or personal protective equipment for um, our staff um, to be able to keep them safe. Um, and in our EDs, we have enhanced cleaning um, systems that we have in place. We also have um, designated areas within our EDs for those uh, suspected COVID patients um, so they don't mix with our um, other types of emergency care. Um, and we just really follow all of our CDC guidelines. And, and truly, um, the ED is probably one of the safest places that you can enter because we are very cautious and follow all the precautions. Speaking of that, I mean, being one of the safest places, what do you say to someone who is delaying the care that they need right now because they're worried about COVID-19? Yeah, absolutely. Do not. Um, strokes, heart attacks, they don't stop because of COVID. Um, you know, we, as well as ERs all across the nation, have seen decreases in volumes and not only decreases in volumes, but um, we see um, patients coming in sicker than, th than we would normally see them. And that tells us people are waiting a little too long to get the care that they need. And again, 
Um, the ED is probably one of the safest places that you can be. And when you have um, very critical illnesses, um, heart attack, stroke, those things, time counts. Um, time saves brain, time saves muscle. Um, and so you wanna reach out and get that care very quickly. If you're having symptoms such as shortness of air, chest pain, uh, numbness in extremities, you want to seek care quickly. Um, and again, U of L Health is here to um, help provide that care and care for you and ensure that you get home and back to your family safely. <laughs> Dory, you're echoing what, I mean, many of your colleagues have said, don't delay on getting that care. Now, lastly, and this one makes me smile, I, I'm, we're just all so appreciative. Healthcare providers, they always work hard. You always work hard. But the pandemic has certainly pu pushed everybody to the new limits and the U of L health staff is going above and beyond to help patients and to support each other. So what is it that you've seen from your team that makes you the most proud? Yeah, um, the ED staff is probably the most heroic team um, in healthcare. Uh, they sacrifice their families um, to come in and care for those in the community. They are the first line. You don't know what's coming through the door until you've done an assessment. Um, and this team has just rolled with it. The teamwork that you see in our EDs is just unbelievably amazing. Um, we are truly blessed to have a group of physicians that are highly dedicated, highly skilled, and committed to the care for our patients. Um, we have uh, just, you know, one of the things that we have committed to um, uh, or pledged to our community is if you come into one of our EDs, we're able to see you um, or get you in front of a practitioner within 30 minutes of getting to the door. Um, that's challenging in, in uh, regular uh, times, much less um, with the stress of, of COVID and the things that are happening. So um, I just, I, I can't say enough about um, the teamwork and the camaraderie. Uh, these, this team has had to make and adjust very quickly to different regulations that have come out or recommendations from the CDC. Lots of information um, around, you know, how to care for these patients, how to protect yourself and how to protect others. And they just roll with the punches and are amazing. And um, they really seek out the information to, to ensure that they're able to give that safe, high quality care. Well, we're grateful to all of you, and thank you, Dory, for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. To learn more about U of L Health and to find a physician or specialist, visit uoflhealth.org.